Hello everyone, welcome to Capsule. Today we are going to discuss about tannins. The tannins are secondary metabolites which are present in higher plants and are most occurring natural substances. And these tannin containing plants are most widely distributed. And these tannins are used as astringents as they precipitate tissue proteins that is mild antiseptics these tannins are also used in the treatment of diarrhea these two points must be remembered they may ask in gpat what are the uses of tannins and tannins are important for functioning of leather industry this must be remembered is very important for functioning of leather industry they prevent decaying of animal skin that is putrefaction tannins also impart color to the skin of the animals that is chemical properties of tannins these are complex mixture of organic substances and contain uh, o dihydroxy or trihydroxy groups on the phenyl ring mostly polyphenols unlike alkaloids these are devoid of nitrogen these are high molecular weight and form colloidal solutions with water and non crystalline substances coming to specific chemical reactions of tannins the tannin solution precipitate gelatin and these are precipitated by salts of copper tin and lead they are also precipitated by potassium dichromate solution or chromic acid solution coming to next point and tannin show color reaction with iron salts like a bluish black or brownish green with ferric chloride that is mostly with iron salts and tannins are precipitated by 2% phenazone solution in this test the tannin solution is prepared with sodium phosphate that is sodium acid acid phosphate the most important test for tannins is gold beater skin test in this a membrane of ox intestine is used which is treated with hydrochloric acid and rinsed with distilled water and this rinsed membrane is put in tannin solution for 5 minutes then it is removed and placed it in a ferrous sulfate solution tannins impart brown or black color to the skin in this test and tannins are classified as hydrolyzable tannins and condensed tannins coming to hydrolyzable tannins these are hydrolyzed by acids or enzymes to produce products like gallic acid or ellagic acid and they can get converted into pyrogallol on dry distillation examples of drugs containing tannins like hydrolyzable tannins the like amla arjuna myrobalan tannic acid behra etc behra is a ingredient of trifala churna even myrobalan also condensed tannins these are non hydrolyzable tannins or proanthocyanidins or phloobalanins these are derivatives of flavones like catechin or flavanol 3 ol examples include amra ashoka bark black catechu etc and there is another group of tannins which are a subgroup of the tannins that is pseudo tannins they differ from tannins as they are of low molecular weight tannins are high molecular weight but these pseudo tannins are low molecular weight and they do not obey gold beater skin test the examples include chlorogenic acid in coffee and nux vomica ipecacuanic acid in ipecacuana and catechins in coca these are about tannins guys now you are aware of tannins hope so any doubts please put in the comment box thank you for watching